Yeah, who it is? Oh, hello? This is Raul from the cab company. They said you bought the business, so I wanted to introduce myself. All right, cool. Shit. Good to meet you. It's a solid business. We do well. Some of our regulars can be a little fussy, but what do you expect in LS, right? I'll give you a call if anything comes up, okay? All right, sounds good. Mr. Clinton, we got three guys waiting for a pickup saying they're big VIPs. I don't want to send the wrong person. Do you think you'll be able to take this one? Gotta do my thing for the business, I guess. Great. They're waiting at the entrance to the Richmond Hotel on West Eclipse Boulevard. Hey, my man, where you going? Bring it in, dude. Okay, we got three stops, bro. Polly here is the closest. Maze Bank, Alta Street. Hey, quick as you can, we're kind of late. As you can see, we're pretty good for a tip. Drunk massage! Whoop, whoop, on the company dime! We're skipping work. Banking, dude, they want you there 24-7. You have to let off a little steam sometimes. No use making all that money if you can't enjoy it. On that note, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hello! Blaze that bad boy! Yo, are you 420 friendly, bro? Whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bail out blunt. It is happening. Nothing like a few drinks and a smoke before gambling with someone's retirement. Driver, you want a hit? Nah, man, I'm cold. Oh, Smells kind of weak to me. This is prime green, man. <laughs> yeah, this is high end. Gets delivered by a guy with a briefcase and shit. I'm good, man. I'll leave it to you professor. Whoa, take it to the dome. This is some straight up dank. Will you hurry up with that? Seriously, puff puff pass, Polly. Sharing is caring. <coughs> Next stops, please. It's a bank on Hallway Gavin. Anyway, thanks, bro. Is that the to the weed? Yeah, afraid so. Man, I'm so relaxed. That Olga gives a serious massage. Gosh, I still can't believe Polly got the dude. Polly asked for the dude. Deep tissue, no hands. Whatever. Yours looked like she used to be a dude. So, did you end happy? Didn't get a chance. I blew my wad into the towel halfway through. <laughs> you can't need a man's thigh like that. Okay, screw going back to work. I need to get some junk food in me. Can you drop me out at 24-7? I think there's one on Innocence Boulevard. You ever been to the Richmond Hotel? It ain't one of my usuals, nah. You should check it out. Killer cocktails, great spa. Can't believe we only dropped... Grand this time. Must be slipping. But if we tipped anymore, it would have been awkward. What about those two, huh? Top guys, always a crazy time. Lobster in the sauna, though? Schoolboy error. I think, I think that girl's vagina. You live and you learn, am I right? I think we nearly did. Thank God. Oh, man, I am so hungry. Dozen donuts, nice here I come. Best ride I've had in a long time, bro. Here, you deserve this. Hi, uh, Mr. Clinton. Sorry to bother you, but we have a young lady asking for a driver who's really got his finger on the pulse of Los Santos. And you're the only guy I can think of. Are you busy right now? Yeah, I should be able to handle that. She's at the Galileo Observatory on Galileo Avenue at Vinewood Hills. Thanks for this. Can you take me to a decent clothes store?
Any closed store? Shit, what exactly are you looking for? You tell me. The taxi depot said you were the guy in the know. I need something to wear for this big meeting I've got coming up. I'm teaching a movie idea to some studio execs. All right, I think I got a couple of options for you. Oh, thank you. I'm still new in town. I only moved to Los Santos last month. I think that if you're really serious about getting into the industry, you have to be LS-based. This is huge for me. I've been reworking this screenplay for eight years now. I can't reveal too much, but it's going to completely redefine the science fiction slash erotica genre. That's a genre? It will be if I nail this presentation. I need a look that screams powerful, independent woman, but still vulnerable and prepared to do anything to get ahead. A little bit school teacher, a little bit schoolgirl. A hint of their mother, but not too much. That's what men want, right? Shit, a hint of my mother would be a dime bag and a blowtorch. Oh, wow. That's raw. I feel your pain. My movie is really a metaphor for the struggles of growing up middle class during the economic boom of the 90s. I'm gonna use it to heal. I can't believe my luck. I didn't think it would happen this fast. I'm out at a bar, get talking to this older guy, and... Guess what? Turns out he's a big movie producer who thinks I've got huge potential. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those around. Well, I'm meeting him at his apartment. Apparently, he only invites girls there if he's serious about taking it to the next level. Shit, it sounds like I should be taking you to an emanation instead of a clothes store. No, he was definitely legit. Really seemed to believe in my talent. Still, you watch yourself, all right? Don't worry about me. I got some streets. I did three years of undergrad in Liberty City. So, do you want to hear the plot of the movie? I thought you couldn't reveal too much. I'll just give you the skeleton synopsis. Okay, so we open on an alien life form, 5 TBD, on board a space shuttle hurtling towards Earth. After the alien makes it to Earth, it takes the body of an exotic dancer played by yours truly, totally and it searches for a male to mate with. She wants to create a baby, and eventually, a whole master race of damaged, dysfunctional alien stripper kids. Working title, UFO. Whoa, I gotta You're be honest, done. I watch it. Right. It's a genre mashup. Movie execs love those. I'm going to walk in there and be like, okay guys, before I say anything, I want you to think Shoulder of Orion meets Shorehorn. You're not going to steal my idea, are you? Because I, I haven't registered it with the guild yet. I promise you, I'm not going to steal that idea. So, will this work for you? Looks awesome. Thank you so much. You watch yourself at that meeting, all right? One of our regulars, Otis, needs a ride and he's demanding VIP treatment. Doesn't sound like he's in great shape. Can you take this one? Yeah, I could deal that one for you. He's outside the Up and Adam Burger, opposite the gents. Your manor in downtown Vinewood. Hey! Can't even go there. How are you? So where to? There's Bucci Canal, <laughs> San Andreas Avenue, Bay City. Take it real easy. Feeling a little woozy, man. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Oh, uh, God. Hey. You sure you okay? You seem kind of faded, dawg. No, nah, I'm solid, man. I think I ate a bad shrimp or something. Hey Must have been one drunk-ass shrimp. Jesus, you're worse than my wife. I got it under control now. I stopped for a few months, then I was like, this is crazy. A couple of glasses of wine is okay. When the doctors recommend it, I'm in fashion PR. You've got to walk the walk. Don't turn on the charm. I mean, you've seen how put together I am. There's a lot of temptations, but I know when to cut myself off. Just drive carefully. I'll be fine when I get to Rob's place. You got it. Nice and smooth.
like six. Appreciate you taking it easy, man. I guess this is it. Like Thanks for taking it so oh, easy, man. Whatever. I think I'd have blown chunks otherwise. This is robbed? Man, you in some serious denial, homie. You don't turn up a party empty-handed. <laughs> don't you know anything? <laughs> called for a car and he was very specific about who he wanted. Any chance you could drive him down to the port of Los Santos? Sure, just tell me where I gotta go. I think a uh, guy's called Walter. He's out at MU Nation in Pillbox Hill. Yo, right here! Hey, where you going? Down to the port, the shipyard off Signal Street. Hey, you work at the dock? No. There's some freaks who hang out down there. I need to talk to them about my niece. She hasn't been home in three days. Have you heard of the Lost? They're a biker gang. Oh, yeah. Them punks is like weeds, man. Can't seem to get rid of them. You should watch yourself, man. They nasty. They're cowards. You stand up to them. You look them in the eye. You see who they really are. A bunch of scared kids. Never had any friends at school living out some homoerotic fantasy. A few tattoos, a leather jacket, and a bandana don't make you tough. I've worked construction my whole life. Guys who don't need to act. Is this seriously what you do for a living? Need to act tough because they are. Not dressing up like some girly glam rock reject. And even the few that did, it was on the weekends on their own time. Now. Nah. Young thugs these days, they're all mouth and nothing to back it up. They don't scare me. I just want to find out where Kelly is. Ever since my sister's loser husband ran out on her, I've been like a father to her. And I know I'm strict. You have to be these days. The world we live in, see, you're a decent kid, working an honest job for an honest dollar. That's all I want for her. Man, believe me. Even this job don't make me a honest dollar half the time. I bought a cab company with a client list of lunatics. I wish she never met those. Okay, uh, we're nearly there. Here, take this gun. Hey, what? And you said you just wanted to talk to them. Worst case scenario, something goes wrong. I thought you'd be okay with it. Why? Because I'm a young black man from Chamberlain Hill? Is this why you asked for me? You're not okay with it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. That's not the point. It's just a precaution. Okay, I'm gonna go have a word with these guys. Just wait here. Just be cool, all right? This don't feel right. What's going on? Don't worry about them. Worry about the bad math of me and two hookers equaling no action. No, he looks really pissed. I want to see this. Not this guy again. Hey! Where's my niece, you punks? Where's Kelly? I know you got her. I told you. Don't worry about Kelly. She loves us. Some nights, she loves us all at the same time. Fuck you! Will you think I'm scared of you? You think you're gangsters? Tell me where she is or I'll shoot! Oh shit.
It's Raul at the taxi depot. A young lady just called. She says she wants someone discreet and professional. Sounds urgent. There ain't many of our drivers fit that description. Have you got the time to take it? All right, where's the pickup? Great. Uh, the pickup's on Fudge Lane in uh, Boro Heights. She'll be waiting outside. Right here. Can you take me to the Central Los Santos Medical Center off Capitol Boulevard? You got it. You okay? Are you sick? No. I'm gonna surprise my fiancé. He's a doctor there. Man, what is it with girls and doctors? I've been asking myself the same question. I just read on his email the son of a bitch is leaving work to meet up with some slut. You read his email? He's marrying me. You shouldn't have anything to hide. Lucky I did. All right, we're here. Wait, there he is. Okay, I want you to follow him, but don't make it obvious. You know like they do in the movies. You sure about this? I want to see where this bitch lives. Look her in the eye, let her see my banging body. <laughs> okay. Good, good, he can't see us from here. He's using it to cheat on me. Look at him like a dog in heat. It's disgusting. You don't see him in such a hurry to come home to see me. What would have happened if I hadn't threatened to cut myself if he didn't give me the password to his email account? A patient. That's cheating code if I ever saw it. I'm not stupid. Do I sound stupid to you? Uh, what are you gonna do when you get there? Oh, I'll think of something. Don't you worry about that. We used to have sex every morning. Now, it's like he's too scared to even touch me. Are you kidding? That cheating, lying weasel of a man. I was just at my mom's place. She always said he'd stray as soon as he qualified. Too good for El Burro Heights now, huh? So he done this before? Oh, he must have done. He's hardly ever home. He's constantly working late. He's always tired. Worry, Ain't that the deal when you a doctor? He tries to pull the wool over my eyes, tell me he loves me. But I see through his He's pulling into that apartment building. And I see her. She's there waiting for him, the bitch. Got him. He never saw us once. Okay, that skank is mine. Hey, look out for fools like me. Ah! Taylor, what are you doing here? This is her? This is a slut you've chosen over me? She's a patient of mine. Hey, come on, are you crazy? Put the gun down. Ah! Ooh, ah! Sorry to do this to you, boss, but we got a guy Felipe needs picking up. Rich kid. His dad's a big client of ours. He's insisting we send the best driver we got. Okay, sure, I got you. Thanks, Mr. Clinton. He's waiting outside the Mount Zona Medical Center. to get up to the Von Witch sign right now. You can really let it rip, bro. There's no such thing as too crazy in my book, okay? You got it. And don't worry, I'll throw in a fat tip if you get me there in a seriously rad fashion. My dad's big time rich. I'm 
I'm really not kidding, bro. Go nuts, leave it all on the road. I don't have limits, only next levels that haven't been reached yet. There it is, adrenaline boner. Okay, okay, I get it. Anything to move this along is cool with me. Tell me you don't feel alive. Oh yeah, I'm back in business, baby. Let's do this. Yeah, smell that burnt and rubber. Okay, what do you say we take this baby off the road? Yeah, come on, put me back in hospital. Man, I hope I get there in time. So the boys bleeding about some crazy stun at the bottom of the side. How are they gonna bring suit off it or some shit? This crew, I mean, talk about it, Sam. I kept messaging them, but they didn't answer. So I'm like, screw it. Now this, this is what I'm talking about. I'll just get up there and throw myself into the mix. This is a sick bunch of dudes. They're always dancing with me. Telling me to go home and stop hanging out with them. <laughs> Great guys. All right, man, here it is. The vine was signed up close and personal. Thanks, bro. That was fun. Keep it real. I'm out. Now, where are those guys? I don't see them anywhere. Hi, Mr. Clinton. A call just came in from a guy saying he's got a couple of stops and he'll pay extra if we send the best we got. All of the drivers we have right now are kind of green. Are you available to do the job? Yeah, I could deal with that one for you. His plane just landed. Says he'll be waiting for you outside the main terminal at Los Santos Airport. So where to? Yeah, can I take you downtown? Little Gems Jewelry, Atley Street. Look at all these people. <laughs> Scraping an existence, living by someone else's rules. Which people? Driver, let me ask you something. Do uh, you believe that fate is just an opportunity you haven't seized yet? Say what? Do you believe that every road leads to more than one place? Hey, man, you want to take a different route or something? No, no. Jesus. Pseudo spiritual stuff always used to work on the young guys. What I'm asking you for is one extraordinary hour out of your ordinary life, and I'll make you rich. I still had no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I'm gonna rob that jewelry store, and I want you to be my getaway driver. Are you for real? Do I look like a man who tells jokes? Sounds kind of shady to me, dog. I don't even know you. That's why it's perfect. No ties. We handle our business, we go our separate ways. And you got all the hangers covered, right? You done the planning board and mapped it all out. Planning board? Okay, you, you've been watching too many gangster movies, my friend. Look, you don't have to worry. I'm a professional. I do my research. Different cities, different targets. You keep switching it up. You stay... Pull it together! Oh, You're falling apart! You stay smart. You stay free. Man, I don't know, man. I'll be in and out of there in under 60 seconds, clean and quiet. You wait outside, drive me back to the airport, and that's it. Easiest money you'll ever make. All right, shit, whatever, man. Why the hell not? Good, good, you won't regret this. Okay, this is the store right up here on this block. Park in front of that alleyway. Okay, wait here, I'll be back in a minute. Keep the engine running. all over us.
Can't you go any faster? They're right on us! Come on, let's go, let's go! Get rid of them! Come on, if they catch us, we're gonna do some serious time here! system must have been hooked right into the LSPD! <laughs> Holy shit! You left them for dust, man! Did I call the right car company? Shit, man, it was my ass on the line, too! All right, drop me back at the airport and you'll get your cut as promised. Damn it. What the hell are you doing?! <laughs> I still got it. Then I was the one that got us out of that mess. What can I say? People excel under great leadership. Man, are you for real? So much for clean and quiet. What the hell happened with the alarm? Hey, look, there's not much I can do about an alarm. Virtually everyone has them now. But I, I wasn't expecting the security guard. That came out of left field. At least I had the mask on. What mask? Oh, shit. I knew I'd forgotten something. And what was that explosion? Oh, that? Yeah, that was a total mistake. Dropped a grenade on my way out. Los Santos Airport. I'm almost home free. So this is it. Are you a talented wheel, man? You should build on that. You've got potential. Yeah, look, man. Stay out of trouble, all right, Derek? And maybe I'll see you again on this side or the other. Maybe not. Ciao. One of our regulars, Alonzo, just called for a driver. He was being a bit pushy, yeah. He's very particular. Is there any chance you can handle this one for us? Sure, I can take that. He's waiting outside the USLA campus in Richmond. Sorry to do this to you, boss. He's a bit of a dick. I ain't gonna lie. Right here! You took your sweet time. Where you going, man? I'm looking out underneath the Olympic freeway. Step on it! My girl's broken down, idiota. I told her a hundred times about going out without me. And last thing I said was, don't touch the car! How many times do I have to put her back in line? You keep them on a short lease, huh? You have to! All these punks rubbing up on her the whole time. What is with black guys and Latinas? Ain't you got enough women of your own? Man, I ain't even gonna answer that. I caught this cabron making move on her the other week. Some ballas or a family or some bullshit punk-ass little gangster. Bro, he's showing five places. Pow! With one punch! Right like a bitch! Man, I wouldn't run my mouth if I was you. It's talks like that that'll get a homie laid down. Just do your job, Mr. Minimum Wage. Don't try to be something you're not. And this vato she used to work with before I made her quit, I saw a missed call from him one time on her phone and went there with a bat. Look, homie, I'll take you where you need to go. But say the story for someone who don't see right through your ass. Whatever, just drive, boy. And now she's calling me. On my way. What was the last thing I said to you about taking the car, huh? Are you that stupid? The grid better be spotless when we get back. You're done? No, no, no. You're done when I say you're done. You understand? Put the hang up on me. She should be just underneath the overpass. Dang, that girl is banging. How she end up with you? Yeah, I'll definitely tear that up. Shit, maybe I will. What the hell you say? Get the hell out of there!
star about that. No, he had it coming. You did me a favor. Look, I, I know this sounds weird, but can you give me a ride? The least I can do after kicking your boyfriend's ass. Ex-boyfriend. I've got friends on Palomino Avenue in Little Seoul. I think I'll go crash there for a few days. You okay? I'm fine. It makes a change for him to be slapped around instead of me. I've been trying to find an out for months, but he's so controlling. I mean, I like a man to be a man, to protect me, but Alonzo's like serial killer crazy. He wouldn't let me go and see my friends. He checked my cell phone every night. He beat up my stepbrother one time for giving me a hug goodbye because he said he wasn't blood. Yeah, I think you could do better. You know, I've never seen anybody stand up to him like that before. Some things you don't let go. Well, I'm Elisa. Most people call me Liz. Frankie. Despite the circumstances, it's nice to meet you, Frankie. Thanks for well. You know, I know it's not much, but here's my number. You should give me a call sometime. Mr. Clinton, it's Raul, the taxi dispatcher. There's this customer telling me he's a Korean celebrity. I, I think he said his name was Quack. Yeah, anyway, he's uh, saying he's in a big hurry and he wants us to send our top dog. Any chance you could take this job? Gotta do my thing for the business, I guess. Appreciate it, boss. He's outside the 24-7 store in Sandy Shores. Yo, over here! Hey man, where are you going? Vinewood Hills, North Conca Avenue. And step on it, bro. I got a poker game starting in an hour and a half. This is a private game, invitation only. I'm talking high roads. If I'm late for the buy-in, they'll ice me out for sure. Here we go! Mr. Quack, right? Call me k -Wack. That's how I roll over here. Nobody can pronounce my name right. Quack, Quack. I'm a shark, not a duck, for real. You probably heard of me. I released a song in Korea. And on the internet last year, called Bitches Got So... Oh, just me and a few strippers jumping around a pony went viral. Eight... Million views. One for every dollar I made last year. Holla! My daddy, he invented the sick bag. What, he invented the paper bag? No, he invented the paper bag with the plastic lining. So your sick don't drip, yo. Keeps your chunder in the bag. Yeah, I think I got it. So next time you blow chunks on a plane, you think of k -Wack. See? You don't mess around behind the wheel, homie. This is why I asked the taxi depot to send their top dog. talking about you are killing it hey what was you doing out of sandy shores anyway you know it ain't exactly multicultural out here i was looking at factory sites so i can make sick bags right here in the usa world's changed homie everyone used to outsource everything to asia now hillbillies will work for less than the koreans hashtag fact you keep driving like this i should make the buy-in no worries i can't wait to get my drink on Smoke some cigars, wear some sunglasses, kicking ass and taking names, baby! You really know how to handle this whip, dude. We all got our thing. When I get to that poker table, I'm in the zone. I just sit there for 24 hours in complete silence. Man, I can't even imagine your ass side. Oh yeah, I'm ice cold. A closed book. I'll get inside your head, silent killer. Last time, I went all in on a pair of nines and swept the pot. Psyched out the whole table. That's how I roll. We are blazing here, dog. You know where it's at. 
We are looking fresh and feeling fresher. Oh, yeah. I'm out. I don't have time to wait around for you to find a gas pedal. That was some sick driving, dog. You blew up the spot. Take this. Take this. You earned it.